Roger, I've got a P-22 auto optics pad, auto optics pad for you. Roger, P-22, landmark ID, LEM, T-1, 110-2656, T-2, 110-3206, miles south, time of closest approach, 110-3340, Shaft three five three decimal eight five five trunnion four six decimal four nine or five roll zero pitch two five zero yaw zero over Roger out. Uh, you said it's very interesting to note that when I uh, kick my foot, this trail with no atmosphere here and it's gravity. Leave, they seem to leave, and uh, most of them have about the same angle of departure and velocity. This is where I stand, the large portion of them will, will uh, impact at a certain distance out. Are several uh, uh, percentage, of course, that, uh, that will uh, impact different regions out, but it's, so it's highly dependent upon yeah, initial trajectory upwards where most of the majority of the uh, particle come down like the terrain. Uh, Roger, Buzz, and Break Break Columbia. This is Houston. When you track out of high gain antenna limits, request Omni Delta. Omni Delta, over. I've noticed several times in going from the uh, uh, sunlight into the shadow that just as I go in, I catch an additional uh, reflection off the limb, uh, along with the reflection off my face onto the visor, makes visibility very poor just at the uh, transition sunlight into the shadow. I uh, essentially have so much glare coming onto my visor, I'm on a shadow, so the uh, helmet actually gets shadow, and then it takes a short while for my eyes to adapt to uh, the lighting condition. But inside the uh, shadow area, yeah, visibility, as we've said before, is not too great, but uh, both visors up. Uh, we can certainly get what sort of footprints we have and the minimal uh, condition of the soil. And after being out in the sunlight mile, it takes uh, and I'm not watching Neil, Neil, you're on the cable. Okay. Yeah, lift okay. up your right foot. Right foot. Uh, it's still, your toe is still hooked in it. That one? Yeah, it's still hooked in it. Damn Okay, you're clear now. Thank you. Uh, let's, uh, let's move that over this way. Neil Armstrong has the scoop for the bulk sample. 